Hello YouTubers, uh, this is a video about a uh, restoration of a uh, 1986 TLR200 um, Honda. Uh, it arrived to us, it was a bit of a wreck, uh, had a rough frame and plastic, uh, it had um, all sorts of things wrong with it that needed to be uh, repaired. Um, the motor did sound very nice. Uh, that was one plus with the with the buy. Uh, so we decided we'd do a full restoration, not particularly to um, a great standard because we were going to ride this bike. So we decided to um, strip the bike down, which uh, only took um, a few hours to complete down to most of its all its components. Um, we didn't strip the engine down, that remained together. We we're going to do certain things on the engine. Um, uh, but initially we decided to uh, send the frame off to the sandblaster and he would sandblast it with a light sandblasting uh, and uh, send it back to us uh, primed. Uh, we had to, in the end, give it a really good sand with some uh, wet and dry and tidy it up so it was nice and smooth, get the uh, all little bits of thick paint off and whatnot that they'd uh, sprayed on it. In the meantime, while the uh, frame was at the uh, sandblasters, we had a good look at the uh, engine. Uh, first thing we sort of looked at, we noticed that the uh, the valve covers that are both sides of the engine were uh, um, the O-rings are a bit perished and uh, we decided that we didn't want any oil leaks in there so we bought some special um, oil resistant uh, O-rings uh, and replaced those. Uh, I had ordered a, um, a new couple of new carb kits from um, the uh, from motorcycle shop in Thailand because um, this video actually I uh, my partner and I live in New Zealand, so Asia's our call for quite a bit of stuff. Uh, so they duly arrived, and it was a full kit. So we fitted all that, got all the float levels right. It had all sorts of stuff in it, so um, sat down and uh, put that all together. And that uh, really turned out really quite good. Uh, while we're looking over the, uh, the motor, uh, it was decided that it would be a good idea to replace the uh, decompression cable, which had, uh, as you know, in a TLR, it, it blows down past the exhaust. So that had been burnt and a bit chafed, so we got a, a new one of those made here. Um, clutch cable as well, uh, and, an, and a brake, uh, front brake cable. Uh, they were made locally on the patents that we supplied, because I have got another TLR and um, they fitted out really good. They were quite reasonably expensive to be made here, but that's the difference getting stuff made here and getting it imported from the UK, which I usually do. Uh, spokes that we decided that needed replacing, they were fairly well munted and had well past their use by date. So we got a local uh, wheel lacer here to supply uh, both wheels with uh, new spokes and nipples. Um, and we spent some uh, hours um, uh, lacing those ourselves. It was uh, a bit of a, a hit and miss job, but we got there in the end. Um, luckily, we previously taken the offsets of the uh, hubs, so that was uh, a bonus. Uh, and they went together okay. Um, uh, I walked away from it a couple of times and came back, but uh, generally uh, it was not particularly satisfying job to do, but once you've done it, you were satisfied. Um, uh, talk about the wheels, we also had to uh, replace the um, brake linings in both. We wanted, if we were going to use it for trials, we wanted to make it sure that it stopped. So uh, we've got uh, new brake pads uh, lined here in, in, in New Zealand. Uh, at the back end we decided to get a new um, aluminium uh, 
sprocket for the rear and the new um, uh, front drive sprocket as well. Uh, one area that we were particularly interested to do was uh, lower the foot pegs. Um, on a TLR you're standing a bit high, the centre of gravity is all wrong and it transforms the bike tremendously if you have uh, uh, back foot rests and wider foot rests back and um, down. Um, so we did that, but first of all we had to make a uh, couple of little cardboard uh, cutouts that we uh, used for both sides. So it was a lot of uh, work in grinding out and making the area right to put the uh, brackets to the frame. Uh, we uh, took those up and we quite uh, enjoyed um, doing that. It was a bit of involvement, but we got there and uh, I actually did that on uh, both bikes uh, at the same time and a friend's bike as well. So we did three bikes and lowered those, uh, put those um, brackets onto the frame. Um, that worked out um, particularly well, even in the future we've ridden around, it's just wonderful to ride with, the, with your feet uh, lower than standing up in, in the sky as it were. Uh, one of the other things that we did uh, to help things along, those ball bearings and the bearing race and the steering brace uh, races need to be thrown out and we put new uh, roller taper bearings in there that that's really really good uh, front suspension is another area that needed to be uh, looked at obviously this bike had been abused a little bit where we got it from so we uh, tipped the uh, oil out of the uh, front uh, forks uh, replaced the uh, seals uh, and dust covers and uh, put it all together again. One of the things I will mention when you work on a uh, front forks is the bottom socket bolt, really at the right at the bottom where the spindle is there. Make sure you get those undone before you take them out of the frame because the frame uh, clamps are really, really hold it on well and you can uh, get, a, get a socket on there and give it a good smack with a hammer and they will undo. If you take the tubes out and you try and put it in the bike, you're in problems. Leave it in the bike and smack those socket bolts undone um, with the bike, with the um, legs in place. Uh, what else we went on with? We uh, decided uh, that um, we needed to repair the seat. Now the seat was uh, in a really bad way. So we, uh, the base was okay, so we stripped all that down, took all the foam off, um, used a, uh, got some more foam, and glued that onto the base, and then we uh, shaped it with uh, all sorts of carving knives and sanders and all sorts of things to get it to the right shape. Um, then we got some vinyl and uh, put that over and used F2 uh, contact these to attach it and uh, it came out really good. We think it's 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 proven it, and also if you get a bit of a ding on it, and you and you scratch it or you uh, cut it, you can always put some new vinyl on. Um, the other thing that I would like to talk about too was the uh, tank. Now the tank was a mess when we got it. It had uh, lots of dings in it. There was rust in place uh, inside, so we had to use some. Uh, Yamaha Tank Reviver, which is a sort of a, a two-pot or two-bottle arrangement. I believe one of them has got sort of like a mixture of acids in it. So you throw the acid in there, shake it all around, leave it for about a, a, overnight. It eats away at all the rust. You tip it out. Um, you um, then um, put what they call the, the neutralizer in, which neutralizes the acid. This uh, you leave in for another day or an hour or whatever, and it neutralizes those bits of uh, thing. And when you tip it all out, there's all sorts of stuff comes out. Well, you see, you can do that a couple of times, and um, we've we've been through probably thirty or forty tank fulls of petrol, and we've never had any problem with um, uh, rust coming through into the carburetor. Mind you, we do use an inline filter. Um, 
Uh, what else did we do? We uh, did the swing arm um, bearings. Um, I got some of those turned up um, and replaced those. Um, they come up really good. Uh, new chain, of course. Oh, we, my partner actually rides this bike, this red one, and um, she uh, thoroughly enjoys the bike. It's it's not a 4RT uh, Montessa by any stretch of the imagination, but if you use the right uh, weight in the right direction, she's a nice little bike to go around. She hasn't got the steering capabilities of a mod modern bike, but that's what an old bike is. And you, you just, uh, we didn't cut the steering head, uh, we left it as it was, and we feel that... Um, She's a nice bike to use in a classic trial. Um, yeah. So um, uh, I'll be doing another one of these videos on my other bike, uh, which was uh, uh, of the same year, but in better condition. Uh, the next few shots are some uh, stills and video of my partner racing around on her uh, new restored bike. Uh, sit back and enjoy. Thank you.